Heart transplants are one of the most incredible achievements in the history of modern medicine. They represent hope, resilience, and the relentless pursuit of saving lives through advanced medical innovation. For people suffering from end-stage heart failure or severe cardiac diseases, a heart transplant is often the only option when other treatments fail. But have you ever wondered how a heart is transported from one patient to another, or what it takes to match a donor heart with a recipient? In this video, we'll dive into the fascinating world of heart transplants, how they work, who needs them, the intricate surgical process, and the challenges that come with it. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The heart is a muscular organ that plays a crucial role in keeping the body alive by pumping blood throughout the circulatory system. It's located in the chest, slightly to the left, and consists of four chambers, two atria and two ventricles. The heart's primary function is to deliver oxygen, nutrients and hormones to tissues and remove waste products like carbon dioxide. It beats continuously, maintaining blood flow to all parts of the body. When the heart fails to perform this vital function effectively due to disease or damage, a heart transplant may become necessary to restore health and prolong life. A heart transplant is a surgical procedure where a diseased or failing heart is replaced with a healthy donor heart. This procedure is typically reserved for patients who have reached the end stages of heart disease and for whom all other treatments, such as medications, lifestyle changes, or less invasive surgeries, have been ineffective. Conditions like cardiomyopathy, coronary artery disease, congenital heart defects, or severe valve diseases often lead to the need for a heart transplant. Despite its complexity, this surgery has become a beacon of hope, giving patients a second chance at life when their own hearts can no longer support them. Heart transplants are not a routine surgery. They require careful evaluation and planning. Not every patient is a candidate for this procedure. Doctors must ensure that a transplant is not only necessary, but also likely to succeed. Patients undergo rigorous assessments, including blood tests, imaging studies, and evaluations of other organ functions. Psychological readiness is another critical factor, as the process demands emotional resilience. Additionally, the patient must be strong enough to endure such an invasive surgery, meaning those with serious infections, advanced cancers, or irreversible organ damage outside the heart may not qualify. One of the most critical elements of heart transplantation is the availability of donor hearts. These hearts come from individuals who have been declared brain dead, but whose organs remain viable. This raises profound ethical and logistical challenges, as timing is everything. The heart must be retrieved, transported, and transplanted within a narrow window of time, usually four to six hours. Donor matching is another complex aspect as the donor and recipient must have compatible blood types and similar body sizes to minimize the risk of rejection and ensure the heart can function effectively in its new host. The shortage of donor hearts remains a significant issue. Thousands of patients are on waiting lists worldwide hoping for a match, but the availability of suitable donors is limited. This reality underscores the importance of organ donation awareness and the impact that one person's decision to donate their organs can have on countless lives. Innovations such as artificial hearts and advancements in xenotransplantation using animal organs for transplantation are being explored to address this shortage, but they are still in the experimental stages. Heart transplantation surgery is a meticulously planned and executed procedure performed by a highly skilled team of surgeons, anesthesiologists, and medical staff. The operation begins with the recipient being placed under general anesthesia. The surgeon makes a large incision through the breastbone which allows to separate the ribcage, creating a clear and open view of the heart. 
A machine called a heart-lung bypass machine takes over the work of circulating blood and oxygen throughout the body while the diseased heart is removed. The donor heart, which has been carefully preserved in a cold, nutrient-rich solution, is then sutured into place. The surgeon connects the major blood vessels, such as the aorta and pulmonary arteries, to the new heart, ensuring that blood flow is restored. Once the heart is in place and the blood flow is re-established, the surgical team carefully monitors the patient to ensure the heart begins beating on its own. The entire procedure can take anywhere from four to eight hours, depending on the complexity of the case. Once the new heart is functioning, the patient is gradually weaned off the bypass machine and transferred to the intensive care unit for close monitoring. This critical post-operative phase ensures that the heart is functioning properly and that complications such as bleeding, infection, or rejection are addressed promptly. Recovery from a heart transplant is a long and demanding process, both physically and emotionally. Patients typically remain in the hospital for several weeks following surgery, during which time their new heart's function is closely monitored. Medications are prescribed to suppress the immune system and prevent rejection of the donor heart. However, these immunosuppressive drugs come with their own set of challenges as they make patients more susceptible to infections and other complications. Striking a balance between preventing rejection and maintaining overall health is a lifelong effort for transplant recipients. Rejection remains one of the most significant risks following a heart transplant. Even with advanced immunosuppressive therapy, the body's immune system can still recognize the donor heart as foreign and attempt to attack it. Symptoms of rejection can range from subtle signs like fatigue and shortness of breath to more severe indications such as chest pain or irregular heart rhythms. Regular follow-ups, including heart biopsies, are necessary to detect and manage rejection early. Heart transplantation has come a long way since the first successful procedure in 1967, performed by Dr. Christian Barnard in South Africa. One of the most exciting developments in the field is the use of heart-in-a-box technology, also known as ex vivo perfusion. This device allows donor hearts to be kept warm and supplied with oxygenated blood, extending the time they remain viable for transplantation. This innovation has the potential to increase the number of usable donor hearts and save more lives. While the science and technology behind heart transplants are awe-inspiring, it's the human stories that truly resonate. Behind every transplant is a donor who made the selfless decision to give the gift of life, a recipient who fought against the odds for a second chance, and a team of medical professionals who worked tirelessly to make it happen. These stories remind us of the incredible resilience of the human spirit and the profound impact of compassion and generosity. Heart transplants are more than just surgical procedures, they are stories of hope, sacrifice, and resilience. Let's continue to celebrate the miracles of modern medicine and the boundless potential of human compassion. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.